I do not own the rights to the music. I do not own the rights to the music. I do not own the rights to the music. I do not own the rights to the music. Praise the Lord, everybody. How you doing? My name is Sister Vanessa. This is the Lord's name is to be praised ministry. It's a weekly Bible study. And so today we have an extra Bible study. Uh, God creates and is found in Psalm 104, verse 5 through 9, 24 and 30th verse. Praise God, Father. Thank the Lord for his mercy. I'll be teaching Sunday school this, this Sunday at 10 o'clock probably uh, on Facebook under Vanessa McClendon. 12 o'clock, my pastor, Superintendent Ella Reginald Bradley, will be teach, will, will be bringing forth the word on Gospel True Lake Church of God in Christ on Facebook. And on Tuesday, First Lady Dorothy V. Bradley will be teaching a prayer and Bible band along with our pastor. She is an anointed, anointed teacher as well as our pastor. Thank the Lord. So we want you to join us. And we appreciate you joining those that have been listening and viewing our our, uh, our program, uh, face on Facebook. We appreciate you. We thank you. And uh, if you God direct, direct you this way, we just thank God for God directing you, you our way. And we, we uh, appreciate you. And if you're a new listener, we welcome you. God bless. Father, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your goodness. Open up our understanding, all of our understanding of your word. Have your way in me to, today, Lord. Give me what to say and what not to say, Lord God. I lack understanding. Lord, show me, help me to teach the lesson the way you want your people to hear. Lord, we thank you for all things. Your mercy, your love, guidance, and joy. Down across for the sins of the world. We thank you for all things in Jesus' name. Amen. God is so wonderful. He is so great. I tell you, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad. It wasn't for the if, if it had not been for the Lord's mercy, we'd all be consumed. Compassion fell not. And great is thy faithfulness. God is so great. He's so faithful. Praise God. Trust in the love of all thy heart. Lean not to the own understanding. And then in all thy ways acknowledge him. He shall direct that path. Uh Today we're talking about God creates. Praise God. And David is the writer of this psalm, the sweet psalmist of Israel. Uh, verse 1 through 4, it talks about the greatness, the glory, the majesty of God. Praise God. He's Lord of Lord and King of Kings. And also, he's giving God praise. Praises are commonly for the upright. Praise God. God wants us to be thankful and, and give him uh Give honor to honors due to the Lord and glory. And God is clothed with splendor and majesty. Stretching, he stretched out the heavens like a tent. Making the clouds his chariot and walking on the wings of the wind. Pray. And so verse 5 reads there. Who laid the foundation of the earth? God laid the foundation of the earth. God uh, that it should not be removed forever. God laid that foundation. So uh, Job 26 and 7 says, He stretched forth, he stretched out of the north over the empty place and hangs the earth upon nothing. This whole world is hanging on nothing, suspended on nothing, because hanging on the word of God. Praise God. He, he, uh, he laid the foundation of the earth earth praise the lord and so uh six psalm six says thou covered it you covered the, this earth with the deep with waters as a garment we know uh, and the waters stood above the even the mountains were covered uh, so uh, psalm genesis 1 and 1 says in the beginning god created the heaven and the earth praise god the heaven up there the Clouds up further is uh, the space, and up further is uh, the heaven where the God is. Praise God. Heaven is my ho uh, ho home. I think the earth is my footstool. Praise God. And, and the earth, verse 2 of Genesis 1 and 2 says, The earth was without form and void. Darkness was upon the no, no light. No light. In uh, the face of the deep, this is up on the water. It's, this is the trend of the, the, the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. So God, the Holy Ghost, moved upon the face upon the water. And the deep is another word for the water. And Psalm 104 and 7 is, At the rebuke, this is God is talking to the water, they fled. At the voice of the thunder, 
They hurried out the thunder. We hear the thunder, the noise of the thunder. And they hastened, the water hastened away. The water fled immediately to do what God instructed it to do. And God, praise God, when God rebukes you, it's a command. I think about the thunder. I think about how God spoke to his children of Israel in the uh, 20th chapter of Exodus. I mean, verse 19, how they were all around Mount Sinai. And God was giving Moses the law, the Ten Commandments to his people. And the people, the, the mountain was shaking and smoke was all around the, the um, that uh, mountain, praise the Lord. And it was loud noise of a of the trumpet how, and the flashing of the lightning around. The people were so scared, and, and the people stood back at a distance. And the one thing about it, they better not even try to get up there. It was a boundary set around that that mountain that they they weren't supposed to be getting up there trying to look and see as God was speaking. I mean, they were so afraid anyway. The people were afraid, and and uh, if someone would have tried to look and see as God was speaking, a dart would have went through them. But that the, they were so afraid. They asked Moses to speak for them. They were afraid that if God keeps speaking to them, that they would die. The power and majesty and might that God was of, of God. Praise God. So I was thinking when I saw that the voice of the thunder, how uh, they the, how the water was moved. That God command and eight. They go. This is the water. Go up to the mountain. They go down by the valley. This is the water traveling until the place where they haste found for them, a place where God designate for them this water to go. Praise God. And uh, praise God. So nine, they have set a bond. Thou has set a God set a bond where he want that water to, to, to go, to stay put and to be bound, that they may not, don't pass over this, that they may not again, I don't want you to cover, again, to cover the whole earth uh, like it was. The water, whole world was covered with water. God had a boundary where that water had to re recede back into the place where God, into a place where God wanted to be. Praise God. Not to cover the whole, because it's more land. It's less land than water. It's more water than land. Water over, overtook, uh, was, was already over the the land, praise God. So he, he he set a boundary for this water to travel as it go up through the mountain, up by the mountain, or in the valley where God found it. Praise God. Nine, and thou hast set a boundary that, that they may not pass over. And the praise, okay. And God had a boundary for the water they could not pass over. The earth has more water. I could say over something, and the water obeyed. Obey the Lord by his command. Amen. And Jeremiah, fear ye, fear ye not me. Jeremiah 5 and 22 said the Lord, will ye not tremble at my presence, giving respect and honor to God, which had placed the sand of the for the bound of the sea for perpetual decree, that it cannot pass. The sand over there. And then the, the water, it was a boundary where it shouldn't pass. And though the way thereof tossed, you know, on the ocean, the water be tossed back and forth, uh, the water be turbulent and back and forth, but they bet it's a boundary where it had to stay. Praise God. Yet can they not prevail. Though you're roaring, that's the tossing, the sound of the water, yet can they not pass. God has a boundary. For that water. And sometimes there's storms and hurricanes. And all kind of things are going on. But when that's over. There's a boundary that water had to recede back into the bond. Where God designate for it to, to be. Praise God. And uh, Proverbs 8 and 29 says. When he gave to the sea his decree. That the water should not pass his commandment. When he appointed the found. He did that at the foundation of the the world, praise God, in the world, Israel being the Lord, yet this today until the Lord says, you know, it's, it's still obey, it's got to obey uh, uh, the Lord, commandment of the Lord. Uh, five through nine kind of speaks about God as a, he's a creator, praise God, and it shows us his handiwork, 
how a master craft man who laid the foundation of the earth and set a boundary for the seas and he command the water uh, uh, because he uh, he does what he want to do. He's sovereign. He does what he wants. And the water and everything else uh, has to obey. Praise God. He sets uh He's sovereign. He's sovereign over nature. He runs nature. He runs the world. Praise the Lord. Okay. For uh, Psalm 104 and 24. Oh Lord, how magnified are thy works. In, one, in wisdom has thou made them all. The earth is full of thy riches. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So the, the so God bless for 12, 1 and 22. So God bless them saying, be fruitful. All these animals that God created and be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters of in the sea and let the fowls multiply on in the earth. Uh, Psalm 104 and 26 says, there goes the ships. There, uh, I'm going to have to go back and miss this verse. We got to go back to manifold. Sorry. But the manifold means to be, it's uh, it's various. Like we were speaking about the, the um, I better grab the scripture. The manifold, praise God, the wonderful works, how God made a variety of different animals, different birds and uh, the thing, a bird, animals that have not still yet have not been discovered. Yet they're in the sea and probably still upon land. But a lot of them had done. He made a variety, uh, various. So, oh God, what a variety of things you made in wisdom. You have made them. Praise God. The earth is full of your creatures. All oh. so David is in awe, and us too. Uh, he was a God in all His creatures, creation. God created and fashioned everything. Birds have a, a, and the animals and fish have a, t a type of flesh and people have a type of flesh. It's not the same flesh. Every living creature moves and has its being. We all move and live. It's because of the Lord uh, and I have our being because of the Lord. And he created a world out of nothing. And, and, and God spoke the word. Let us, you know. Uh, God spoke the word, and, and Jesus is the word of God, and everything exists. Things that we see, uh, and things materialize. Things we see, and things that we don't see. Uh, praise God. To create is out, he created out of nothing. And you know, when you make something, you make out of what already exists, that God has created, that already exists. Praise God. Praise God. God can can do this, and and he, he, he uh, formed things into existence. The things that God created. Praise God. He calls things to exist. Praise God. Uh, 25. So is this great and wide sea, this great ocean sea is so big, wherein there is creeping innumerable. It's, it's, it's endless. There's no, you can't ha uh, count how many, uh, it's innumerable, uh, the, the amount of small animals and great beasts that are in the sea. And we have, you know, this world has seas, you know. We Atlantic, Pacific Oceans, and seas and oceans, uh, the Antarctic, and the uh, Indian Ocean, and Southern Ocean. It's just a lot of deep, deep seas full of life uh, of every uh, kind of creature. Praise God. And for, for we're familiar with dolphins and whales and sharks, and, and God has so many different animals. It's endless. It's an endless list. Uh, uh, Genesis 1 and 19 says, In the evening and morning were the fourth day. Praise God. And and God said, Let the water bring forth abundance. Uh, praise God. And the, uh, abundance. Let the, let the waters, this is the sea, bring forth abundance. God's creating these moving creatures and life and, and the fowls and things. And God created great whales and every living creature that moves. And the water brought forth this, and this uh, God spoke the word, and Jesus is the word of God. Things happen, life uh, materialize, exists for at their own kind, and the fowls. And God saw that it was, it was, it was good. Praise God. So, and verse uh, Genesis one and twenty two saying, God blessed them. God wanted these animals as well as us to be fruitful and multiply and fill the water in the sea. And, and let the fowls multiply on the earth. 
praise God. His creation, he wants you to, he wants his creation to be fruitful and multiply as well as man. Praise God. So verse 104 and 26, as well as, uh, yeah. And uh, there goes the ships. There is that Leviathan. Thou has had made him play therein. So God, does, there, you know, as a man has the ships that are on the land, I mean, that are on the sea, they're, they're going about their own business, what their normal business, and the Leviathan is going about his. He's out there playing, God, at which God made to play in the sea, this Leviathan creature. We can't count, you know, they don't know how, uh, uh, you cannot count how many things or uh, animals are in the great sea. So, uh, and so, man, there's some still that, dis heard they're still discovering new species or animals that are in the sea. It's innumerable. Praise God. Hallelujah. How I heard it. Praise God. Hallelujah. And the animals go about their business in the sea, the animal world, the sea life world, and, the, and we're in the world, and the people that are, uh, the nature, the insect world, all these different things that are going on. Uh, as we are people in the, the ships are sailing, going about their, uh, the, 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 the human uh, world, and going about the animals in the meantime, carrying on theirs. All these things are going on at the same time. And God gives these animals life, the sea life, life. People are going about their life, and the animal kingdoms are going on their life. But people, are, it's amazing when you sit up and you look at God's, uh, when, when they talk about the different animals. You could be in a boat traveling, and, and then also you see the little, if you, uh, I've never experienced it, but you see little, uh, the pulpits, the animals, the, or the whales and things, and going about coming up. You get to look at the view, people get to view those little, those animals coming up. Uh, as as we they're going on their best their uh, life. Thanks God, thank God. And that's an amazing world. It's just in the sea alone, and just in the the world everywhere. Praise God. Uh, one hundred four and twenty seven of Psalm says, uh, "These wait all upon me. These animals, every they wait upon the Lord to eat when it, it, it for God to supply their needs. You know, God looks out for the birds." And they don't toil, they don't spend and go in the barn. They don't be gathering wheat and stuff and taking them and put them into barn. God provides for the birds and he care, he care for us. And he promises he's going to provide for us. And he has. And the, the, these animals that are in the sea and everywhere look, waiting for the, their God to, to provide your food for them. 104 and 28. And thou givest, you give them the food and they gather and it got a, it filled to the full. Praise God. Thou open thy hand and fill with good. So God supplies the animals food and the animals gather it when he supply it. And you open your hand and they're well fed. They're, they're richly satisfied. They feel uh, to having, they had enough to eat. Fill them, okay. 29, thou hear thy face, thou art, they are troubled. When you hide your face, God, they are troubled because they take it away, their breath. It's time for them to leave. And they die and return back to dust. Praise God. So, and if you turn, if when it's a time, it's appointment to die. Not this is your disappointment for everything that's living. The living has to die. Praise God. And when you take away their breath, they die and they turn to dust. Praise God. All living creatures depend on God for our breath. Everything. Who who he, he gives life, and he's the one to take it away, the life. And God replenishes the earth as, uh, as they're multiplying to, to replenish the earth again with new life. Praise God. Uh, uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 7 says, Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return back to God that gave it. So God gives a man spirit, uh, soul, and body. He, and, and there's a place man has to meet God. Praise God's soul. Uh, emotions and feelings and praise God but the spirit uh, returns back to God that gave it for uh, man uh, in uh, Psalm 104 and 30 says thou sendest forth thy spirit thou created and thou reneweth the face of the earth so God gives the new races the new people that are born the breath of life and it, it, it is created to replace those that are deceased. It's their time to go. 
Praise God. Hallelujah. And uh, the Bible said the spirit of the spirit that God give it return back to God. How God I'm talking about human people. Because we gotta meet the Lord. I said uh Bible said all souls are mine, the soul of the Father, the soul of the Son, the soul that sin it, it shall die. Praise God. He replenished earth. So the psalmist is, is just thinking about the marvelous how vast and variety of things that God has created in his creation in, in his creation and uh, of all creatures and, and are dependent on God's provision looking out for him we can't move we, you might think you can do that you can't do nothing without me you can do nothing life or death are, are under God's command and he has the ultimate control over everything's existence praise God God bless you sister Vanessa God bless you Keep me in your prayers. Lord willing, I'll be on next week, either Wednesday or Thursday. Love you. Bye-bye.